Hey, what's going on? It's Boss Brit the Most Lit. What's up? It's your girl DJ Excel. And this is the No Homo Show. Where everything we talk about is homo as Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and comment, turn on post notifications on. Okay, period. Shout out to everybody listening to us on Apple and Spotify podcast. And make sure you go on our store to check out our merch. We got some new keychains. Oh, yeah. Get get me and Buzz Brit on y'all keychains. Okay, let us unlock you. Okay. Right, or lock that you. Was, that was gay, bro. What? No. <laughs> now, Let us unlock you, you know? That's gay. And make sure y'all come see us on tour, y'all. Yes, the normal Get show. Child tickets. It's going crazy. Yeah, yeah up next, we're going to be in New York. <laughs> and then we got Houston right after. How you do Houston y'all. again? This Houston? Or this Illuminati? Okay, my bad. Between Houston and the Illuminati, Illuminati though, I don't think so. I think this Illuminati. You gotta do like this though. This Illuminati. All right, bro. And this is Houston. Not too much. My bad, man. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong. I used to watch a lot of conspiracy videos when I was in school. Hey, one time I watched the Beyonce <laughs> one with uh, me and my sister and my friend Kesey. She started crying because no, she thought Beyonce. You started crying. No, because it was scary. Like, damn, they was making everything make sense. And I was like, not Beyonce, bro. Yo, they did make like all oh, this dress. I'm like, does yeah. anybody think this deep about what they? This album cover, do you think? I don't know because even on Renaissance, they said that horse is a horse that's like a a, a part of Satan's oh my crew. God. I don't know. She left Jay Z. She left Jay Z. Yeah, that, that's all. Dad, dad, She ain't leaving no. Not after jumping that cowboy card. She ain't leaving where? no goddamn Jay Z. If Beyonce left Jay Z, like where's she going? Yeah. I mean, she could. Well, she could right. do an Eve and get her one of them white rich men. <laughs> bitch, that's where I would go. Bitch, I'll be in Italy. You know them, they love black women. That's where I would be if I was Beyonce. Uh, this ain't Texas. <laughs> this ain't Brooklyn. Okay. <laughs> that bitch in Italy now. I don't blame her. Go ahead. <laughs> Ooh, I hate you. Oh, my God. We're so low today, y'all. So y'all got to deal with us. Obviously, yo. <laughs> We, the, hey, people be like, yo, y'all be acting different. Yeah, because we be trying to be respectful to our guests. Because oh, what they say? <laughs> nah, they just be like, y'all funny as hell together. Oh, yeah. Because when we have guests, like, we try to, like. We don't want to get judged cause, too much. Yeah, because we be petty. And some, yeah. some of our guests don't know us. So, like, we over here joking and they looking dead ass. Girl, I had not to cuss one of our recent guests. Yeah. I was trying to not cuss and cough. <laughs> <laughs> Bird out here passing COVID around. And no, shit. I just been traveling a lot, y'all. I've never been on that tour, so. Don't Even get system. me sick. Hey, they say the quickest way to get over is pass it on, so. That's some bullshit, ain't this it? This ain't Texas. <laughs> All right. Woo! We're going to do our own Skittles. Let's get the Skittles and red shot, though. Bitch, what's your shot? <laughs> Where's yours? I'm not on the last episode. Oh, look. All right. <laughs> Mm. Which which <laughs> Disney character would a lesbian be? Kim Possible. Kim Possible is crazy. <laughs> Why y'all gonna do Disney like this? First of all, now I gotta think of Mrs. You. Potato Head. Is that even a Disney? Yeah, it's Toy real? Story. Oh, it y'all is. know Excel so mature, never I had know. childhood. <laughs> I always was you like straight from baby to college, you yeah, know, yeah, <laughs> no in much. between. <laughs> I ain't watched that baby before. boss. <laughs> <laughs> Miss so she's, mature. She's childish. Ah, oh, she's childish. Oh, hey, yo, Pocahontas, Poca, Poker, Pocahontas. I don't know, I like some poke. Yeah, Pocahontas. Snow White. Snow you White. T- you think about crack, New York City yeah. shit, man. What are you talking about? He talking Snow about you White? can flip Snow White. <laughs> oh, he learned that word split yeah, from uh, yeah. Red. <laughs> he using a wrong concept. Hey, like, what right. you, you guess? You don't know no Disney people. This I know. Is, this is really, you can't even guess because you don't know not one Disney person. Come uh, on, give me somebody. It got to be a girl, obviously. Would it say lesbian? Which Disney character would be a lesbian? Okay. Be a lesbian. I think Pocahontas, honestly, is yeah. a good one. Was there anyone that was just on some like always around girls or something like that, or like on some gay shit? Cinderella, she had uh, she didn't have a who had the dwarfs that was Sleeping Beauty. Sleep. Y'all, this beyond me. I don't let, know. Let me see what number it is. Okay, I 24. hope it's something good, y'all, because y'all know Disney, Disney, Kim Possible. I don't know. It's you stuck on Kim Possible for me. Hannah Montana, that's so Raven. Bitch, it's Raven Simone. That's what it should be. Who is it? 
Did they make up a name where it's really a character? I hate this game. <laughs> Licky Mouse. <laughs> Why would they do Mickey Mouse like that? <laughs> Not you laugh. <laughs> you annoying. Licky That's Mouse. That's petty. That's childish. Licky That's Mouse. That's the thing with this game. They really make up your own words, their own words. So like you try right. to think of like, I'm thinking of a real character. Licky Mouse. They're childish. And first of all, none of y'all got that right. Yeah, none I of y'all. I know for a fact, none of y'all got that right. Nobody got that right. <laughs> Shot. Water. Yep. Ah, good old H2O. All right. How you been? You good? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Hang it in there. I got me a new pair of scissors. I've been told today that I need to cut off some mugs, so I'm just ready to get the cutting and trimming and uh you know. <laughs> Do I make yep. damn I was gonna ask if I make the cut. You absolutely have made the cut. On you the good have, side. On the great uh, side. Right, you're you're one person I ain't cutting no okay. Latino off, all right? Okay. You need to do a Spanish you know, you bitch. You cut us off with your ass You said what? You oh, you said you stupid. You stupid as hell. Um, yeah, I ain't cutting out my Spanish books, okay. man. I got to keep it bilingual. Okay. What about you? How you doing? Um, <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me tell you something random, right? <laughs> you stupid. So I went through the... <laughs> my, my boy is so loud with these chips so already. weak. Except I got ADHD as you know she can't pay no I do, attention. I do. Brit hate it because I really be like, what the fuck? All right. Can't do no I chance. went through the airport, right? Yeah. And you know how you guys put your hands up through TSA. Yeah. Right? So then I guess something must have beat. The dude going to like put your hair to the back and about to tap me, right? Tap you? You know, like how like if like if you got a belt on like the lady will come and oh oh right? he thought you was a yeah. boy oh and he was like put your hair to the back and then <laughs> i said i'm a girl okay, period. don't touch me like, i felt like a little bitch and he was Not like for real. and he was like oh thank you for telling me thank yeah. you i was like i don't look like it, a girl it, to you fuck you bitch. i mean if you stare Hard enough, it's like, all right, cool, bet, I, girl. But like, real, at was, a glimpse, like that happens to me one time too. I went to yeah, TSA and I had to different. get checked. I definitely am different, and I'll be having on sunglasses. Hey, hey, bring all the time. I remember when we was going to TSA. She was going under the ropes. The, the lady had, sir, sir. <laughs> Yo, all the time. I just yeah. feel like not saying nothing, but I feel what? like I'm just saying I can see. <laughs> he weak. <laughs> it's not weak. that funny, H. It's not. The sir be killing me, yo, man. Yo, sir, sir. <laughs> bring over there. And she ain't now, one to time me. it was a dude in the. You know how you go through after do this and you gotta get checked. Yeah. They were looking at each other like, "Am I supposed to do it? Are you supposed to do it?" It was a man and a female. Girl. Like they, were, I'm like, I'm a girl. And then the lady was like, "Oh, okay." And then she was like, "Well, where's your boobs?" This ain't Texas. <laughs> Woo! I, okay. I you. Yeah, but I was kind of like, that was my first time in a long time that, like, somebody missed it. Feels the kind of way? Yeah. Yeah. It don't ever get easy, right? Yeah. I have to spare people because I was in the lounge the other day. You know, we hitting that lounge, that all-inclusive joint. At the airport. And dude was like, I asked him a question. He said, no, sir. And he was like, oh, my bad. Yeah. But I don't even know what made him say my bad. One that I give girl in that split second. Right. I don't know. I do feel like some older people or some people that's not in our culture for real. Yeah. Um, just look at your clothes and instantly think guy. Probably. And that sucks. It does. And that's probably why we're going to lead our episode today. Yes. With the misconceptions of studs. Y'all are going the stud out. Because I got mad. Yeah. When he said that and I asked the girl, I like a... I look like a boy, and she said no. But maybe she probably wanted to say yeah. I don't know. I put she her. She wanted in the to front. say yeah, yeah. She should have said yeah. If she gonna keep it a hundred. Damn. Come on now, lady. I did have lie. one braid to the back though, cause I had my hair done. So maybe he ain't <laughs> even see my hair. My bad, y'all. Please excuse me. <laughs> when you when your manners kick Get in. Get to like... some studism. Okay. So we're gonna talk about misconceptions of studs because I feel like. First of all, even my boy's wife over here, every time his wife is at our show, she's blown away that we are still women, okay? <laughs> she has so many questions. And I, if she was here today, boy, we might put her in front of the camera. We should have really had her here Look, to ask us some she shit. she be mind blown. Yeah. All right? Text D real quick and ask her to text send us some shit about studs that what, she always wants to know. What questions she got for studs? Because a lot of, a, a lot of people, straight people, 
think things about studs, but even femmes and stuff think, you know, a certain way about studs. So we're here and this is our to give own give y'all insight. Yeah, and this is our own personal opinion. Of course every stud is different. Every stud is different um, now. Some more masculine than others, some prefer more other things, but we're going to talk it from our point of view. Yes. Okay. <laughs> What do you want to touch on the first misconception? What I got? <laughs> I just went right in. I okay. didn't even. I was just taking care of babies. Taking care of babies. So, is it habit like the misconception? Of oh, I'm habit? sorry. Let me elaborate. Yeah. Okay, so the misconception here is that um, if you get you a stud, they will take care of your babies. They're good step parents. They will hold a child of yours down. You don't think that's true? After our last guess, that shit might be true. I don't think it's a thing to be like all studs will take care of your kids. Cause right. honestly, I never want to date no girl with no kids. Yeah, I'm not no step steady. Now I'm not doing that. Now I can't speak for my stud over here. I wouldn't do it after the one after time that I experience, did. Yeah. yeah, but I don't think that people should. And it really be I don't know. It'd be like gay girls be saying that shit too. Like the community be saying like studs like girls who got babies. And I don't think that that's the thing. That still is like it's, girls who got babies. Bad bitches got babies. Bad bitches do got babies. And I think we accept it. And we we are still women and we're nurturing. So we might love to be around your baby. Yeah. If your baby's sweet and cute, then we going, just like if that was my cousin's baby or whatever, like I'm going to love it. And not for nothing though, like that's a way to get to her, the girl heart. My mom always did say that. I, t- I think I said before, like when I first started dating the girl with kids, my mom was like, get her kids a little gift. And that's yeah. going to mean so much to her more than you doing something for her. Yeah. yeah. But it ain't true for all studs, y'all. Yeah. We do, I, my type, <laughs> wherever my type is, my people that can relate to this, I would rather not, I have, I have a girlfriend, of course, but if I was single, I would not want to date a girl with the kids. Yeah. And I could not. I did it only one time, and I think I talked about it last time. I had a, I had a step parent, so I know how it felt to be like yeah. in somebody's life, and then when y'all break up, you leave, and now the step kid like, damn, where the fuck you went? So that was for me like why I never wanted to even be a part of nobody's life. Like if I'm not gonna see a future with you, I don't want to meet your kid. I'm not about to let them call me auntie or TT or dada or whatever the hell they want to call me, Dada's unless I know crazy. for a fact I want to be in that kid's life. So I still do not want to be. That's, y'all baby daddy yeah that's a fact and me personally like i'm so happy that my wife don't have no didn't have a kid or anything because i want to build with you yeah dogs oh yeah and so don't like the dogs well one passed oh r.i.p gucci gucci yeah. damn moment of silence <sighs> it's all right the bad one is still alive <laughs> you're the bad some one bullshit. <laughs> just some bullshit. <laughs> All right, I hope my wife don't watch this episode. <laughs> I was in this particular clip. Yeah, come on. Like, uh, remember Nicole we interviewed on the- Nicole, 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 Nicole. On the dating show. The she was oh, yeah, yeah. My oh, dog, my yeah. dog. Oh, my God. Yeah, she ate your ass up. Okay. <laughs> she did. She... You're thinking, my dog, my dog, but my dog got a Yo, outfit. That... My dog got pajamas. Bro, that was hilarious. Yeah, she funny. Okay, I think a huge misconception, what mm-hmm. we just said, is that studs want to be men yes all right and um this is an obvious Ah. one right but also when in a relationship i think some femmes think their stud wants to be a man and definitely that stud wants all the men responsibility right them gender roles be beating y'all ass up every time yeah and it's like no woman like a lady no, I can't change your tire. Yes, I will call the tow truck. But some studs, though, man, I see both sides. Some, some studs make it hard for w- women to not believe that. Because they do. They be taking on that yeah. role of, of a man. Some, But that's the thing. Like, I think that's the fine line between the stud and the dyke. But, yo, there's some women. There's some. <laughs> it's the fine line there. I mean, some people are good with their hands. Not everybody. True. You know what I mean? True. I know some women, my damn mom done built everything in her house. She can do everything, paint everything. I can't. Mama yeah. stud. 
That's no what it's giving. That's, hey, today hey, we have know learned. My mom be watching. All right, know. Ma, you ain't no stud. You might be, though. Explore it. I'm my just mom, saying. My mom will run down. If you were trying break. to find her a girl at the No Homo yeah, show. She so. was already. What'd she say when you she said, said that? She said people was offering her uh, pineapple juice. Because why would they say at the No Homo show in Philly say that her mama <laughs> might need a stud? And, her and mama I was, was like, there. she don't drink. Is she cheap? And people was really offering her <laughs> to get her juice. Wow. She, she, she just. Hates me, I'm so. crying now, nah, but that's a huge misconception. And honestly, I really the uh, the thing that bothers me the most is when men say it. Yes, because they really think we want to be men. Oh, and and that's their goal. Too. Yeah, like they 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 just know it's gonna hurt you. Like even our clip when we was talking to Steezo about uh straps, to this day that clip is still going yeah. live, and they in the comment like, fake sex. Of course you can't feel it because she meant she wants a real man. Like I really be like. Oh, and I don't know why, but it bothers <laughs> straight men so. It do much. right. Like a lot of our comments, believe it or not, y'all, it's not straight women. It's men. It got on the straight men in the algorithm. How? Like, it no really, for real. Because like just out of nowhere, like months later, it like hella peaked. men. Who posted it? Did somebody post it or like, I don't some know. Some man must have posted it. What's crazy is my mama was watching um some podcast the other day and our clip was on there about yeah. um the strap, the burning strap. And oh. she was like, is that Brittany on this blog right here? And they was wow. talking about it. I don't know what they were saying, but that's but yeah, true. like that's definitely one of the biggest misconceptions. Like yeah. just because we're dominant or we take on the role as like the more masculine one, it does not mean that we want to be a man. Yeah. And if we want to, we can trans we transition. <laughs> And we can be a man. Yeah, and I just think, um, just don't make that assumption. Even if you're dating yeah. a stud or getting into a new relationship, like, have that communication because when you think that, right, it also goes into thinking that they can't be sensitive. Right. You know what I mean? And, and y'all know I'm a cancer, all right? Because, yeah. no, I'm still a girl. And, yes, I feel some type of way. Yeah. Are you not about to make me feel like I can't communicate or I'm being soft? Right. You know what I'm saying? So it goes deeper into, like, the typical taking out the trash and stuff. Like, you don't want me to share my emotions like I would as a woman. Yeah. No. I think that comes from playing house, too. Remember yeah. when you had to always be like, who the mama, who the daddy? Yeah, like, the daddy. I was always the daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I was the daddy. I had seven kids. You feel me? I wasn't shit. I oh, was, my God. <laughs> I wasn't shit when I used to play house. You hear me? But, yeah, we definitely, I, I agree. Like, even back then, like, I used to be scared to be, like, sensitive and yeah. do, like, just being myself. Not even do stuff, but, like, just really being myself. Like, uh, whether it was just, like, like I had to be, it? yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Yeah. So, and, no, we don't want to be no men. Yeah, and sometimes you, I feel like, mm, okay. What My was bad. you just doing? <laughs> oh, okay, a little dance move. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> All right, you might like this. I what? don't particularly. We don't want to be handsome all the time. Like, I, I still want to be, like, that's why I felt some type of way at the airport. Because I still want to have, like. What a beautiful chocolate man. <laughs> you a chocolate I, vanilla. What a beautiful vanilla man. I, I want to be, I'd rather look, be looked at as pretty than handsome. Excel a vanilla man, y'all. Beautiful vanilla man. <laughs> Britt is a handsome young fella. I'm just hey, saying, like, yo. sometimes, like, like yeah. studs more than still, not everybody, all right? Not every, this, like I said, this don't fall for everybody. Yeah. But sometimes we want to still look pretty. Yeah, no, nah, like, that, it do feel good to be called pretty. I, yeah, because that made me feel like you still see me as a girl. But you don't want to be called handsome at all? Like, you would get offended or... I mean, I'm not going to get mad, but handsome. Yeah. <laughs> then am I giving handsome? Right. Hand handsome just sound hard. Like, yeah. handsome. It sound sounds mas masculine. Yeah. I don't know nobody that. No, I'm, uh, I wouldn't feel no type of way, but I'd be like, that's not really what I was I'd rather be called for. pretty or beautiful. Yeah. Make, calling us the beautiful. What about the brat? Oh, they. They, hey, beautiful. They so cute. Yeah, call your stuff beautiful and see if that make them feel better. And look, better. when I watch, the crazy thing is I never watched the brat and her wife. With, uh, Judy? Judy, yeah, yeah. I never watched them, but my wife was been watching them one day, and I mm -hmm. watched a few episodes. And it was crazy because by her talking to the brat like that, yeah. you could tell it really made the brat softer and open up to True, her. True, because the brat... Used to be kind of like hard, it's, core a little yeah, bit. Yeah, but it she it she seemed like she could be vulnerable. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So if like, yeah. if you treat if you, 
Oh, I don't know. Everybody different. But you yeah. know, if if your girl is a stud or whatever, and it's like, yo, let me make it a safe place. Yeah. yeah. Then I could be like, yo, I'll be talking softer to my wife than I like. Yeah. Would talk to anybody. Yeah. No, I I agree. And, that's and, a fact. And that's because I feel comfortable. Like, yeah. I do girl shit, not like. Too, no, I get what I get what you saying though. Like, like you're not afraid to yeah. like she ain't judging you. Like she, if you want to put your titties on her head or yeah. something, you know, like I don't know what you're exactly. be doing, bitch. I just feel like you do some shit like that for some reason. My like. old titties, not my new one. <laughs> okay, that new rack. <laughs> <laughs> but for real, like like let your stuff be vulnerable because I feel like you'll get a truer version of them. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, you make a safe place for your stuff. All right, y'all have one. Um. This is a this is a huge misconception, and I don't know if it's true or not. It's not true for me, but a lot of people think that uh, studs don't like other studs, yeah. and like we can't be friends, and like we can't get along. Yeah, I've never had a problem. Am I soft though? Like soft, like a soft. like am I the am I the soft stud? <laughs> Well, you was the bottom and you stood on stud. Right? Bitch, I was never the bottom. I we never even went that far. I was never the bottom. Well, I never had no beef with no stud. I don't feel like I ever had no beef with no stud, but I do find a lot of people out there saying that they have issues finding stud friends. Like studs be giving them like they don't like unfriendly vibes. Like, I feel like just, that's insecurity. Is it the other person? Yeah. No. Like that might be some shit you putting in your own head. Yeah. Like maybe they just naturally looking at you like that i don't know but no, i, don't feel, I feel like, like studs, studs do be, be insecure like like when you see it kind of like when a dog see another dog they start barking type yeah shit. okay okay you know what i'm saying <laughs> like like yeah <laughs> especially maybe if it's an intimidating stud like if it's a stud that look good or whatever right like uh -oh. you might oh, oh my <laughs> but like I think that I think I said it before. Like I think that's some younger, immature stuff. Yeah. But I definitely have experienced that. Yeah. I never looked at nobody that way. But some people might see someone as like, oh, you might be able to take my chick or something. That's what it is. You too. know what I mean? They might feel threatened by. Threatened. Them. Yeah, that's it. And that's some personal stuff. Y'all got to deal with that. Yeah, and then you're I insecure. Ain't never felt like yeah. That. Facts. Yeah, I ain't never been afraid to befriend no stud to say what's up to no stud. But I ain't gonna lie. In my hometown, Cincinnati, mm -hmm. back in the day, but it's some young shit, like you just said. Bitch, if I saw a stud, where the fuck you come from? And they fly and shit. I'm the only stud around here, bitch. <laughs> the fuck? This ain't day. Since. You gay, right? You gay too? Yo, for real. And because I think it's a link up, though. In them small, in them small cities, <laughs> yeah. like, yo, if let's say there's two bad studs, a new one. Okay, bad studs. A new one moving to town. Oh, oh you want me? <laughs> She not that's, about to come fuck up look, my bitches. Look, no, that, sorry, Bob. That's that's some young yeah, shit. Yeah, that's, that's some that's some real shit though. Yeah. But shout out to all my stud friends, and I don't know how we became friends. Probably because we was gay. But <laughs> shout out to all my stud friends, because in the beginning I had nothing but stud friends. I just For started real? recently having film friends. Yeah. I ain't had that many stud friends. I mean, you was the only stud in town. No, I when wasn't. When you came out as a stud. And they didn't even school, yes. really know what studs was. Wow, Brett. You probably the first gay person your town have seen. Your town, your town has seen. I was in, in my boarding school, but that's fucked up because you said you said <laughs> that that gay uh, studs. What did you say? The first pride was in 1963, <laughs> the 1900s. So now 1900 you, and goddamn. Nah, you I'll, should be proud. I really was. The great thing is, I this is a side note. Yeah. I just DJ'd. Um, it, um, in Pennsylvania, and yeah. like ten people I went to um, boarding school with came out, For and real? it was like, yeah, that shit was dope. That's lit. Yeah, and the one feel girl, good to see people you grow yeah, with. Yeah, and my one homie said, "Bro, y'all gotta stop talking about Harriet on here." <laughs> <laughs> I said, "I know she's gonna be there." What if Harriet would have been there? I'm out, bitch. <laughs> I want to get a TED talk. With Excel and all right, Harriet. All right, all right, all right. We gotta let this. All right, I ain't even mean to bring her name up. I ain't even mean to go in that. I want to see a TED talk with Excel and Harriet, bro. I just want to. Can I at least? Can you show me a picture of her one day? I don't got no picture of her. She had on Facebook. No. I really don't. <laughs> What's her last name? Tell me. Uh, say no. I'm playing. I'm playing. Uh, <laughs> Y'all about to be the <laughs> sending pictures and shit. Nah, but talk. nah, but. Anyway, that was that was years ago. Okay. If y'all want to see a TED talk with Excel and here no, it, drop I, a arm emoji. Hell nah. Look, 
And I'll be playing. I'll be playing. I yeah, we be, we be playing, man. But, okay. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. What you got? All right. This was going back to like what you were saying with what we were saying about the men. Okay. But just because we did you even say, I don't even know if you already said it. what. But just because we might use a strap don't mean we want to dig. Correct. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like femmes be using straps sometimes. Yeah. And when I found out about that, I was actually shocked. Yeah, femmes use straps. Yeah, I actually learned that in Atlanta. <laughs> I did not know that femmes use straps. Yeah. Did not know it. I would have thought they. Which is kind of the same Scissoring. thing. No. Oh. <laughs> Look, now you're doing fan misconception. misconception. You're right, you're right, you're right. right. Like, I thought they would be more with like dildos, like right. going in and out. Not actually like, putting a strap yeah, on. That's some freaky that's shit. Shout out to all my yeah. films who be slaying that dick, okay? Because really? I fuck with y'all. That is so fucking smiling? hard to so me. Because that's just so lit, like. Y'all really be out here busting that shit down. Like, shout out my aggressive films out there. I really fuck with y'all. But yeah, and, and like, same thing about that damn clip, because it's still going viral, just in my head. Like, it's not about the fact that we can't feel it, y'all. Yeah. Okay, we're not doing it for a feeling. Yeah. Or sometimes we are. If you know, if you know, you know, you feel me? But just know it's getting the job done. Yeah. But all studs don't like using straps. Yeah. Except yeah, I don't use a strap that much. <laughs> not a point to you. Yeah, bitch. Well, she don't like using straps like that. So not all studs use straps. And if you are a stud, you don't have to use a strap. Yes, correct. 100%. Don't let that girl force you to do something you don't want to do. Yes. And, and, hold on, hold on. And if you do use the strap for the first time, you don't have to be a professional. That's correct. Because you a stud. Because I do think we have a friend that's a little intimidated to use a strap. Huh. All right. <coughs> who? My bad. Cut that out. <laughs> who? Who was scared to use a stud? I mean, a uh, strap. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Surprisingly, but um, right. But the thing is, I do think that's a feeling that we get is like, especially if you're trying it in your twenties or something. Yeah. That you feel like kind of like, especially if the girl has sex Had with real a man. Dick. Yes. Yeah. And then you're like. Ah, you even when we interviewed Red when she said that yeah, she yeah. Had, like she knew how to yeah. use it, you know what I mean? But yeah. like I think that fams be you know be okay. Talk your stud through it a Talk little your bit because of through course it. they know where the coochie and all that. But there might be yeah. cer certain things, especially if you never had sex with a man, you might not realize what's the best position or yes, you know what I'm saying. Be so be vocal. Yeah. I can't tell you how many times I probably thought I was killing it. And that girl just like, yeah, bitch, <laughs> can you stop? That hurt, you, you mean, know? Yeah. Or even just fingers. Yeah. You ever, you ever fingered a girl? You thought she was killing it, but then you look back like, bro, I don't even know. Nah, I I never jam like that. You I, never did that? Nah, I got like nice DJ face. Like I was okay. Smooth. Tiki, tiki, I was smooth. Tiki, tiki, I was tiki. okay. This is me DJing. This not me fingering. Somebody, okay. By the way, y'all. Okay, right. I thought you were saying that's how you fingered the pussy. Nah. <laughs> I was like, damn, that bitch a player. <laughs> I need to learn yeah, that. Da, 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 da. The night, <laughs> tickle the cat. Oh, but now I really feel like films. Y'all should definitely like, cause I feel like films. Some and I, I, maybe it's a misconception yeah. for films. Like maybe y'all are judging the stud versus just telling the stud like, yo, you going your friends like, man, they thought they was killing that shit, bitch. She ain't know what she was doing. Like tell your stud that. Yeah, I feel like I never, nobody ever. First of all, I never use it that much. Yeah. Right. But I nobody ever like walked me through it, and I never been with a man before. And of course, you watch it, you know what you're doing, but like you really don't know. Yeah. I mean, like, is the slow stroke killing right? It? Like, tell me what like, you like. Yeah. Yeah. I think only. I mean, reading the body, of course. Read you know the fucking room. Like, yeah, but. But sometimes like, they be capping, I feel like sometimes. I, and I, I wouldn't know, know cause I don't Cause know. Cause think about it. You, we both talked about how yeah. we faked yeah. act like some shit felt good. Yeah. So like, I can only imagine I'm thinking I'm killing some shit. Yeah. And she like, I can't wait till you think you're you're done. I'm about to act like I came. Yeah, but don't gas move. me up. Yeah, like, don't gas me up. Like, let me know. That's a mature Gas shit. somebody up if this is like a one night stand. Are y'all just fucking on the side? That's gas fair. them up, just keep yeah, it moving. But fair. if it's somebody you really building with, like, are they going to keep doing it like this yeah. and you're going to keep not enjoying it? Yeah, like, let them like, know. Be, be sensitive with my ego. Okay. But, but 
Tell me, tell me get some lube next time okay. or something. You know what I'm saying? Tell me it don't feel right when you do this and you do that. Yeah, a little song. Create a safe song. place for your motherfucking stuff. Not all us know exactly what they doing for the first time. All right? <laughs> Hold on now, wait a minute. So I know y'all into the episode, but just one minute. We got a special announcement for y'all real quick. Listen, we have a lot of single people, a lot of couples, a lot of people into a lot of things. And you know what we into? <laughs> we into the adult toys at shopstarship.com. Oh, y'all get 15% off because y'all are super special and y'all watch our episodes. Y'all get 15% off with the code no homo show when you go to shopstarship.com. Dot com. Listen, y'all, they got everything you need, everything you didn't even know you wanted. Hey, you can just try something new if you're feeling like you need to keep it a little spontaneous. Starship yeah. got you. That's a fact. And if you're in Atlanta, y'all can pull up to the Starship store. But anywhere around the world, go to shopstarship.com. Back to the episode. Okay, so another misconception is that studs only like straight girls. Okay. I even got a meme to go along with this because, you know, Facebook be... Whew, Facebooking. Facebook be That's Facebooking. That's why we had a whole episode. <laughs> we had to. The Facebook slander on studs have, have, have got to stop. Okay, so this one say. Oh, this ain't really about straight girls. This say nowadays girls don't like the good girls. They want the whores and bitches who done been, th been all over the community. All right, so that's two misconceptions in one. All right, the whores and bitches be the bad <laughs> bitches. <though. laughs> they be the bad bitches. <laughs> Hey, we all had a history, all right? If you ain't judging me by my track record, I ain't judging you by your track record. That's how you go. Hey, when you go into <laughs> something like that, that's how you know you was a whore, and the bitch you fuck with is a whore, too. If you used to steal, it's like, no, I'm playing. Oh, damn. But is there too many, this sidetrack, is there, like, a number that's, like, that's too high for me? Like, if you was if you were single and you were dating a girl, she said, yeah, my body count is... What, what the girl said, she said 33 or something like that. Would you be like, yo, that's too much for me? Or do you not care about a body Everybody count? on YouTube, listen, they like, damn, I'm at like. Because I know I'm, it depends on what a body is too. Because like, is it fingers? Is it head? Is it strap? Is it scissoring? I mean, I feel like if you touch somebody's pussy, that's pretty intimate. Like, I like you not you going to act like you never touched her pussy? My head count up there. For real? But you know what I mean? Pussy's out of... Play the drums out here, bitch. I didn't touch, not in felt. Okay. Yeah. I done felt a lot of coochies, bro. I ain't even gonna For real? Man, wrinkly ones. For real? <laughs> the double layer skins one. <laughs> no. Ones with piercings. Unshaved, shaved. Hey, how, what you feel about piercings? Hold on, 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 I like that. I, I'm stuttering, bitch. Hold on, hold on. You gotta get one? No. Okay. <laughs> you said like, hey, I'm thinking about getting my pussy no, pierced. No, because I you think, think about that. I think like a clip piercing. Yeah. Like I think it's cute. It's definitely cute. You it's standing cute. up and you got like two little diamonds or gold yeah. balls. Yeah. But I might get mine done. But when I'm like going in, yeah. get that shit out the way. I dated a one girl that had that, and it was just really easy to make her come. Yeah. It was too. I'm talking about even I ain't had to touch her. She could be walking and her pants would be rubbing it the wrong way or something. And Do she'd be like, really oh be my. Like that? I don't know. I don't like, was think you fucking so. with me or was you dead ass? Or do she just come easily? I felt like. Oh, no, I just a, felt like. I just want your. Damn, this sound real gay. But I, I just want your clit in my mouth. Yes! Like, you nasty! Yeah, you so stupid. That's why I'm never cutting off a Spanish bitch. Them bitches are nasty. Okay, you need a nasty bitch around you to talk that nasty shit. So I could see, I, like, I could definitely see, and I would like you try to like yeah. use it, but I, I feel like that's kind of like the same way people would have a tongue ring. Like, it ain't really. I think. What you think? I want to do it. You want to do what? Get my shit pierced. For I think, real? I think that would be my, I think that would be nice person for me. That would be nice. And it's, it's so it's just for you to like, just yeah, because I can't show nobody. Yeah, you're right. I even think about getting my nipples pierced too. I can I'm see like, you getting your But they said, Brandy said she got hers done. She said, I'm not going to be able to wear sports bras for a long time because you can't. She trying to scare you out of <laughs> She want to lick my nipples. That's okay. what it is. Shout out to Bay, And I want you to do it. It's like, no, I'm playing. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know how we got there, but we don't like straight. That's that's a misconception. Oh, my bad, y'all. We were getting sidetracked. But I will say this. Sometimes you might want a straight girl because nobody gay has had her. Mm. 
So yeah, for me, that's what it used to be. Like, yeah. I don't want no girl that all these studs and have. Let me yeah. go find me a straight girl. Cause her and And that's that's facts. Cause like I I would have like. Got nobody count. Well, you got a body count. He ain't no body count in the in the gay yeah. world. She ain't yeah, got nobody count. Yeah, because it just be like that's how I used to be. Like, yo, I just like who I like. Right. I'm not gonna just be like, who's the gay people in the room? Okay, right. now I got <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. yo, if I like you. <laughs> And you giving me those vibes because right. like I think some girls some girls might think about it, mm -hmm. right? Or some girls might not even think about ever dating a girl, right? Mm -hmm. But if you cool, you like you got your shit together, you look pretty or whatever, like, and you show somebody interest, they going it's it's like open up their mind like, hold up. They might be like, no, I'm not like that. And that's but then they turn flirting with you the whole out. time. Okay. Especially the little drink or something. Yes, and then you gonna show you gonna Show them some shit they ain't never seen before. For sure. And then they're going to fall head over heels. So yeah. that's what... I went through that stage. Yeah. yeah. So for me, like, I've dated plenty of straight women. Yeah. And it was like, it never it was... It wasn't intentional. It just, nah, yeah. because they were straight. It was like, yo, I like who I like. Yeah. Now, some, some studs will say, like, loud and proud, like, I only date straight women. And that's... Maybe we can bring somebody up here. We that. need to bring somebody up here because yeah. what is wrong? Why? Yeah, what is wrong? But then we have also interviewed gay men that only want to date uh download guys yeah, you facts. know what i mean so yeah it's an interesting pers perspective and even, for the oh my bad no nah, i was gonna say even with the 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 gay men that we interviewed like yeah. they could never have no real solid relationship right with a, with a straight can't guy. fall in love with mm -hmm. a motherfucker down like that yeah we should definitely bring a stud up here that only like straight women and see like why because the films be like why you don't want a woman who's experienced and who's really gay and can really do some gay shit? Why you want a straight woman? So, hello, because it's, it's something to talk about. <laughs> okay, because straight women all know if they know how to suck a clip. Okay, they you gonna learn the same the as sucking dang. a dick. Okay, okay. <laughs> we got a pocket. I'm a whole old married woman. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'll just say if I was single, like. Yeah. And I like the straight women, like, just know we're going to be in a gay relationship. No, for real. But you're not in a straight relationship We're not me. doing the touch okay. me not shit, all that all this shit okay. over there. It's getting a whole lot, a whole lot, a whole lot of gay, gay, okay. gay, gay. And talking about misconceptions and sex, yeah. okay? Like, there's not certain positions, like, studs won't do or will do. I do feel like, yeah. She's speaking from experience. But, what position would you do, Excel? Let us know. No, there are some positions that I feel like it's, it's crazy because like I'm really a tomboy, you know what I mean? So yeah. there's some positions that like, nah, bro, <laughs> don't even try that. Like I'm straight, like on yeah. <laughs> some hell, nah. But then there's some shit that like, yes, I'm doing. Like, tell me you more. So, you're, so, you're such a freak. Tell me more. Tell me I'm just more. Saying, don't think that studs is just gonna be in some manly shit all the time. Yeah. When them clothes come off, that stuff body might be more popping than yours. Not me, cause my white body is fire and I ain't okay, got no ass. Period. But, <laughs> but I'm just saying, yeah. like don't think that studs can't do certain shit or don't make them feel guilty. For, for liking yes something. you right yeah make that's that vulnerability and stuff we're that's talking a good about one. you like make them feel comfortable because some studs do like penetration and it don't mean that they like dick yes okay that's true. That's just because you like penetration oh, i do like i do like a finger too girl i'm not about to say you do like dick I, no i was like whoa we're being honest no, today I, no, i was gonna say i don't want no penetration but i, I don't want no strap but i'm not bashing nobody yeah. to do Cause penetration and dick is like to me that's two different things. Like penetration is penetration. Yeah, you know don't saying? mean you want a dick. Yeah, but that's that goes to men though when they want to get it in their ass. Yeah, trapping their ass, and they say they not gay, but they just like penetration because where they that's where their G spot at. All right. <laughs> <laughs> No, we not trying to judge, but we hey, judge that it. That shit got a gay. I ain't gonna lie, I'm sorry. I was trying to look past it. It's kind of gay. I was trying to look past it. But I'm not here to judge nobody. Yo, you say it ain't gay right. to you, it ain't gay to me, it ain't gay to us. Yo, man. bitch, you <laughs> funny, because I'm over here like, all right. Yeah, I was trying, I was trying to sell a, <laughs> sell a story on yeah. that one, y'all. But yeah, penetration and the two different wants, two different desires. But we can't say that and then let what? us thug get strapped down and say that that's that she want dick? Yeah. So you send up a stud, want strap, that means she want real dick. 
I mean, if we're saying that if a guy wants strap, right? Then he want real dick. I don't know. We can't be biased like that, y'all. Uh, it's, it's just hard. hard. Yeah, it's hard. It's right. hard. We literally. <laughs> it's hard. We're gonna be on a no homo show that sometimes it is hard to see things, but it, it is, y'all. We we working through it. Um, but I don't I don't think that about a stud because yeah. she would just go get her. Okay, but then a nigga would just go get him a nigga. I don't know. Not not you blew your own mind. Shout out my stud the light penetration. Yeah. I ain't I ain't I ain't mad at it. But yeah, if your if your stud asks you to fuck them, don't let your mind go too far off. I think it that's where the communication is. Unless they comes. really do it. Now if they go see a man for real. But I do think I do but I do agree, like if if your stud asked you to strap her down, that yeah. don't mean she's craving. Right. I don't think she, that. Yeah, that yeah. sounds crazy. <laughs> Craving dick. People be I can only imagine how many studs really want to be penetrated and they they, they won't not, communicate it. Yeah, yeah. Because they afraid that like a femme gonna be like, yo, that's you want some straight shit. That's true. I don't want no penetration. I'll take a finger or two, baby. I'm talking to my wife right now. Okay. Okay, <laughs> baby. She already know, but they should be getting them nails done, huh? Not today, baby. Oh, okay. That's- <laughs> Yeah, 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 nah, nah. She nah. gotta start getting that one, the lesbian uh, uh manicure. First of all, my wife better not be walking around with one damn nail off. Yo, okay. That was that just, was crazy. That's gay. Woody woo. Yeah. That was the gay shit I seen. People were so shocked that we ain't know about that uh lesbian thing. I never seen it. But then afterwards I saw it on a few people, but I never seen that. Yeah, no. my wife was like, That's some Florida shit. All right, well Oh, uh, okay. I ain't from Florida. Girl. Okay, period. I never seen the so, shit. So I have um a misconception. <coughs> You all right? Uh, yeah, thank you. Um, this is more up your alley, okay? What why is you it? Why you look at me like that? <laughs> okay, why what you, is it? Why you that ain't like no that? bullshit, right? Nah, like, studs don't only want to date femmes. They want to date studs, too, some studs. <laughs> right? Like, we think studs... Bitch, I want to spill my motherfucking water out. You're funny as hell. We think that because <laughs> you a stud, you just want to date studs. Fast. But some <laughs> like the date studs. Yeah, I can't relate to those people. Um, but I agree. <laughs> for real, That's because for real, we look at femme on femme way different than we look at stud on stud. Yeah, but no, because I don't be taking femme on femme serious. I'm going to just say um, it. I'm going to just say it. Damn. Shoot me in my foot. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this girl class. Clown, I want to take you serious. Yeah. But I just don't know. I don't. I don't know of any film on film relationship that lasted. What about Red? Red and a little bit. But like, Red is like a no label. Yeah. Yeah, Red was funny as hell, bro. She played too. But much. shout out to all the film on film relationships. Yeah. I ain't here to discredit nobody or you know talk down y'all. But I do think that you know it. It get more like it's fun. It's we in a moment. We haven't. I, but no, don't, don't get me wrong. Like there are definitely people who are married. Cause there are people who are married. That's film on film. It's just that I've never personally met a couple that I know that's film. On, do you know a film on film couple? Mm-mm. And I don't know a guy, a male couple neither. Like what a, you mean? Like a long lasting male couple, gay guy couple. Oh, we why we need to just get outside or something. <laughs> Shout out my film on film. I'm like gay man on gay man. <laughs> gay man on gay man, it's crazy. <laughs> stud for stud, trans for trans. Yeah, so Shout just out the everybody. misconception is that just, you know, studs just want fans and sometimes they want other things. Yeah. Not over here, but over there. Okay. Right? Um, and the biggest misconception is that there ain't no fucking rules to being a stud, bro. Like, yeah. we feel like we gotta follow, follow these like stud guidelines and we gotta do this and da da da. Bro, it's no, it's no rules to it. Like, yeah. whatever you feel like makes you happy, Fucking do it. Even if you want to be a stud one day and a film the next day, do it. Bitch, why you point at me? <laughs> do it. A stud, if you want to be a dyke, a butch, <laughs> or if you want to be a stud, an AG, <laughs> you see Do it example. make you happy. It's no, it's no rules to this shit. And send this to a straight person so they can learn about studs a little bit yes, more, Yes, yes. Anybody, like, if you got a sibling that don't understand, if you're a stud and you got a sibling that don't understand, you got a mom, you got a girlfriend that don't understand, you send this to her. For real. Send it to your mama. And no, all studs don't pay all bills. Okay. We don't. And no, all stu- studs ain't broke, neither. We're not, <laughs> even though 
What? Steve <laughs> said, <laughs> actually, <laughs> statistically, Stars the are the brokers. We not, we not the brokers, and we don't pay all the bills, y'all. Just get to learn the person and figure out from that what you feel like that person is. Don't come in with this pre consume notion of what you think a stud is about to be for you just That's just give a motherfucker there's chance, a last man. one i have okay this is not promoting violence in any way but studs can defend themselves yes bitch <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! First of all, bitch, you losing a fight doing that. <laughs> what, no, back in a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Girl, I used to make cartoons. No, <laughs> the thing is, like in relationships, some femmes be a very aggressive because they like don't put your hands on me. You gonna put your hands on me? Yes, I will. <laughs> so, Girl so, on girl. Yeah, it is girl on. Y'all, at the end of the day, that's a woman too. That's a woman Unless too. Unless you're taking testosterone or something and turning it into a man, which might be a little stronger, might, you know what I mean? Yeah. Really, you shouldn't be putting your hands on nobody you don't want to hit you. Shit. Because self defense, people really um beat that. Kate. Yeah. Okay. I remember my mama told me I was in a domestic <laughs> violence uh, situation. And I was telling her, like, you know, she hitting me. Can y'all come over here? She said, if you don't hit that girl back the next time she hit you. You told your mama to come over. Yeah. Because I, really thought, mama do? I really thought I couldn't hear her. Like, I felt like I was the uh, dominant one. So I'm like, can y'all come get her? They're like, bitch, that's a girl. Like, yeah. if she hit you again, just hit her back. Now, that probably wasn't the best advice. You know, nah, it should have been. Real shit, it should have been like, if she hitting you, leave her. She just said hit her back. So, you know, it kind of. <laughs> I come from that kind of field. <laughs> we go over there fighting. And from that day, I was definitely, I was definitely dodging. But I do feel like, you know, as two women in a relationship, same sex, it's only right. I even feel that. Do you feel that way about men, though? What? If a woman hit a man, can the man hit the No, that's back? why I said, I just men are so much stronger. But I did say, like, don't put your hands on nobody and yeah. be mad when they defend Because it's triggering. Yeah. And, it's a, and it's a reaction. I mean, he shouldn't he shouldn't knock your ass out. He but should. he could definitely push your ass yeah. to the damn ground or whatever it is. Like, Not yeah. he should, though. But he may. Nah. <laughs> the fuck? Like, like, yo, if that's my nephew <laughs> and a bitch keep hitting him. Yeah. Get that girl up off of you and get up out Defend that house. Yourself. Yeah, don't hit yeah. her. Do not hit yeah, her. Yeah, don't hit, don't but hit her. But get that girl up off of you. Yeah. Don't let her play with you like that and get up out that house. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Because that domestic shit, that get tricky, man, because what, I once remember. Once it happens, bro, yeah, it don't, it don't, it don't stop. stop. No. It don't stop, y'all. Like, yeah, that, that is a fact. Like, once y'all hit each other once, it ain't going to never stop. But I do feel like most of the time when I ever, it was just really a reaction, bro. It was really like just not even thinking and that's the thing too like you gotta like understand like people got tempers bro like if you decide to hit a motherfucker it it ain't no telling where that could end up y'all could end up dead or in jail like i remember one time i had a fight it was so bad she ended up in the hospital yeah i don't even remember the fight like in the moment because we were just so like blacked out and just you know yeah. just hitting it's like that domestic shit ain't hey so i don't even think you should defend yourself i think you should leave Get up out that house. Get the fuck up right. out of there. I'm not saying, I'm not, that's why I said it. There's not promoting domestic violence. Yeah. I'm not saying to hit somebody, but let's not think that a stud cannot, cannot. defend themselves. Right. right. You know what I mean? But anybody going through it, yo, get up out that house because that person do not respect you. Period. You can you know do what better. I'm saying? You okay? can do better. Okay, little Donald. Shout out to little Donald. <laughs> okay, period. Little Donald. You want to do a, um, a guidance? Guidance from the gay guys. Okay. Gu gu guidance from the gay guys. <laughs> Guys from the gay guys. Let's get into it. So this one says, "Yo, I'm a mask lesbo, and I'm not a stud or anything, but I was wondering if y'all could do a podcast asking questions on how to be more mask. I need some help from people who've been in the game a while. Damn, she calling us OG, and none of my mask friends been with that for a while. So basically, they're trying to figure out how to become more masculine, but they don't identify as a stud. But they don't. Nope." So there are no label. Do you have advice for that? Yeah, man. Just um, honestly, a lot of people don't want are afraid to be themselves because of how they think other people will portray it or will if, perceive them. But if they're asking to be more <coughs> masculine, are they naturally masculine? I don't know. That's the thing too with these questions. Yeah. It'd be like we need a little bit more. Yeah. So if they're speaking from the perspective of like being comfortable with being more masculine. 
I think that's like an internal thing, just building up your confidence. Yeah. But if they're like, what do I do? Like, do I buy boxers? Do I buy a strap? Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, that's kind of hard. That's a hard one. Like, I would say, yo. Be more mask. I was naturally masculine, though. Yeah, I didn't even I... have to really try to be masculine. Like, I can't tell you how to be something you're not. You right. know what I'm saying? It, but I want to tell you to be comfortable on of who you are. And if people right. aren't accepting you as you as a masculine person and you got to be soft, that's one thing. But they're asking how to be more masculine. Right. I would say be yourself and you're going to attract the right person mm -hmm. for you. Because being like learning to be masculine is just not organic. It's not yeah. you. It don't sound like it unless we took your question wrong. Right. I'm so. trying to understand. And I think you got to have, like, a certain amount of, like, confidence, too. Yeah. Like, when I think of masculine, is like, being dominant, like, owning your space, owning a room when you walk in. So, I think, like, just building your confidence and really telling yourself, like, you that nigga, bro. Yeah, because it's outside. Okay, bro. That's how I feel. It's go, outside go of clothing. And, yeah. It's a must. Yeah. <laughs> Try on some different clothes. See what you look good in. Get in your masculine bag, baby. Well, let's just trust me, finish this I went one. from a film to a stem to a stud. To a butch. Okay, I'm not no <laughs> fucking butch. What is a butch? I don't even know. <laughs> You're a butch. Oh, now I'm a butch. Make up right? your mind. I don't know. Somebody type me and let me know what the fuck is a butch. Don't, don't type her. Butch is a stud from up north. No. Hello, butch. No. <laughs> <laughs> you get on my nerves. All right, well, I hope we helped y'all with some misconceptions of studs. If there's any other misconceptions y'all y'all think y'all want to know about, y'all want us to speak on, make sure you write it in the comments. Yeah, comment below, man. Because you know we're going to tell you how we feel about it. Yeah, make sure y'all come see us on tour, y'all, because we are outside all summer, and we want y'all to come enjoy this experience, y'all. Yes, let's Come go. See us. The no homo show. Whole lot of gay shit. Whole lot of gay, 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 gay. gay. I like, I like. Boss Brit. We certified. And DJ uh. Excel.